Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood. But this shows that vegetation water body acts as a heat sink. So I would say that the increase in temperature in the recent time is just because of this senseless urbanization that has happened in the city. You know, 1,005% growth in concrete area, you know, building, road, etc. We lost 88% of vegetation and 79% of water bodies. Now, because of that, you know, this vegetation acts as a heat sink. And also water body acts as a heat sink. They moderate the climate. So that's why wherever you see the vegetation, for example, this campus, my campus, temperature is 2 degree lower. And in this area, it's 4 degree lower than the city's temperature. You know, now for example, you looked at the IIC campus, the centenary pond, the pond what we created in 2008. See, that pond not only gives me, stores the 10 lakh liters of water, it also has become an open level, lab for my students. My students monitor the, that pond and whatever the algae that is grown, diatom, we are trying to see the prospects of biofuel. So that way, you know, the nature does its own way of helping the system. When we created the water body, we didn't know what are the benefits we are going to get. But today you see that, okay, the benefit is not only it recharges the groundwater, it also has the additional benefit of, it has given me the land, the open land for the, my students. Forest, what we created in the two hectare land. We got about 49 species from Western Ghats in an area of about 2 hectares, about 500 saplings. This was planted in 89. And today I have a rainforest there. You know, over a period of 25 years you see that there is a rainforest in there. It has got a diversity. We created only the plants, diverse plants. But you have now the birds, the butterfly, the snakes, everything is there in play. And also there is a four families of slender lorries is there. So these are the kinds of additional benefit you are going to get. And coming back to your question of water. See, we have monitored the groundwater table in the immediate vicinity of this region. Where that open wells are there, the water table was earlier 150 feet. Today you have the water at 10 to 15 feet. That means, I would say the vegetation has helped in the retaining the water and also it has helped in recharging the groundwater sources. So because of that the groundwater table has improved in these locations. You know my assessment we have done the visualization of growth by 2020 94% of the, our landscape will be concretized. By any means I would say that is an unrealistic tragic growth. Our children will not have air, clean air, clean water and environment. So that is against the Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. We are at Delhi Darwaza. If you are aware of this place, you know where we are heading to. If not, we are entering the famous Darya Ganj market. From starting up a legal practice at a time when it was unheard in India to today becoming a force to reckon with.